Hello everybody, I'm Masa Mohammadi. I want to present this study called Design and Simulation of a Low PDP Full Ladder by Combining Majority Function and TGDI Technique in CNT Fair Technology. The outline of the presentation is as follows abstract introduction, proposed design, simulation results, comparison with previous design, conclusion, and uh, finally question and answer. In this study, a full adder based on the transmission gate diffusion input technique and uh, majority function is presented in carbon uh, nanotube field effect transistor technology. The proposed design consists of 18 transistor and is simulated using HSV software at a voltage of uh, 0, uh, 0.8 voltage, a frequency of uh, 500 MHz, and a load capacitance of 1 femtofarad in 32 nanometer technology. The simulation results show the reasonable performance of the sum and carry output signals, as well as the improvement in power consumption, latency, power delay product or PDP, and energy delay product or EDP. Today, scientists have uh, attracted the attention of many designers because uh, they are similar to MOSFETs in structure and general behaviors. This is a schematic um, diagram of a MOSFET like scientific that shows the similarity. Some of the benefits of CNT FETs are low sensitivity to temperature change, low power consumption, parity of electron and hole mobility, mu n equals mu p, and the possibility of controlling the threshold voltage according to the nanotube diameter by changing the chiral vector n and n. Simplified uh, equation 1 and 2 can be used to calculate the nanotube diameter and threshold voltage. The threshold voltage is inversely uh, related to the diameter of the nanotube. Technique, uh, techniques used in the study. The unique properties of CNT FETs make it possible to use them uh, in full layers for improving one or more circuit. Uh, parameters such as speed, area equation, delay, power consumption, and PDP. The majority function and transmission gate diffusion input technique, which is uh, used to implement full letters in this study, are briefly reviewed below. The first technique is uh, majority. As shown uh, in figure, the majority function has n. Uh, input which are applied to n capacitors and the logic level with the most repetition is transferred to the output of the circuit. Equation um, 3 and uh, 4 describe the function of a 1-bit full adder using this technique bit a, b, c, n as inputs and sum and carry uh, and uh, excuse me, sum and sealed as outputs. The next, te uh, the next technique is GDI. Figure uh, shows a simple CNT based GDI cell. This cell consists of three inputs P, G, uh, and N, and one output um, in this structure, uh, node G. Is the common gate of two transistors PCNT and NCNT, and nodes uh, P and N are the sources of the two transistors. The truth table of GDI cells, uh, cells is shown in table. Advantages and disadvantages of GDI technique. The GDI technique presents advantages such as reduced area, low power consumption, and increased speed in uh, circuits. By using uh, input signals instead of supply voltage, GDI reduced uh, power consumption, 
However, this technique uh, had disadvantages uh, such as output swing drop or uh, threshold voltage drop. If the transistor in figure below is driven by a signal instead of supply voltage, it will act as a GDI block. The transistor uh, turn on when V gauge source bigger than V threshold. For example, if VD equals 1 voltage and V threshold equals uh, 0.3 voltage, by applying the gate voltage once v gate source bigger than v threshold the transistor turns on and the capacitor charges up to 0.7 voltage in this case vs max equals uh, 0 0.7 voltage therefore the output signal undergoes a swing reduction and the next transistor cannot detect the correct value and transfer it. Therefore, the TGDI technique is uh, used in this study. According to figure below, the basic TGDI cell is created by uh, replacing uh, each GDI cell transistor with a transfer gate. In fact, there is an opposite type of transistor in front of um, each transistor which is placed in parallel. In this case, if M2 is turned off, M4 is on due to uh, the presence of G. So the N must pass to the output remains on. On this page, we have the proposed design presented. The proposed full layer consists of 18 uh, transistor in um, three uh, TGDI blocks and three inverters. The first block of TGDI generates uh, A uh, plus B at node U. The second block uh, creates AB um, at node uh, D and the third block generate carry signal according to equation 5. So next, uh, using the carrier signal and the majority nut gate uh, with 5 input capacitors, which have a capacitance of 0.1 from 2 farad, the sum signal is generated according to equation 6. The truth table of the proposed circuit is shown in table. Simulation results. The proposed full header is simulated at 0.8 voltage, 500 MHz and 1 femtofarad load capacitance uh, in uh, 32 nanometer scientific technology. The number of nanotube chiral vector, nanotube diameter and the threshold voltage of each transistor in the proposed full header are given in table. Uh, these values are chosen so that PDP and EDP are reduced to their minimum values. The figure shows the simulation results of the proposed full header under dimension uh, conditions. The figure uh, shows uh, input signals A, B, uh, and C in. And uh, the output signal, sum and carry. To evaluate the thermal performance, the proposed circuit is simulated in temperature ranging from 0 to 100 degrees cel uh, Celsius according to the simulation results. Although uh, power consumption increased with um, increasing temperature, the delay decrease such that PDP and the EDP decrease. Figures show PDP and EDP. Figure below shows the operation of the circuit at different supply voltage from 0 0.8 to 
to two voltage. It is uh, observed uh, that uh, with increasing supply voltage, the power consumption uh, PTP and ATP increase. Comparison uh, with previous design designs. A table compares the performance of the proposed folder with previous designs in terms of supply voltage, delay, power consumption, load capacitance, PDP, and ADP. From the comparison results, the superiority of the proposed design is confirmed in terms of the existing digital parameters. Conclusion. In this paper, a full adder which a low PDP was proposed and simulated using edge spice at 0.8 voltage, 500 MHz and a 1 femtofarad load capacitance in 32 nanometer CNTF technology. Power consumption, latency, PDP and EDP were 0. 697 uh, microwatt, uh, 13.8 picosecond, 9.67 uh, femtojoule, and um, 1.34-28 joules over second, respectively. The simulation results show the appropriate performance of the proper circuit compared to several other full adders. Thank you for listening.